talk about today, it, it's just uh, uh, that shit wire. Uh, this guy, you got to you gotta give him his props. This guy is such a fucking... And I played that first clip just to give him a taste. Just just a taste. Just a little uh, taste. We, had, we got uh, plenty. Of- a little taste? Oh, violence against women's uh, and, <laughs> and vids. We had nothing to do with Shuli Salem cancellation. Shuli, please explain what happened to the four of us that had tickets. <laughs> I'll take answers on li- offline. There's actually nine of you that had tickets. But I've been, uh, like, look, I'm not one to, I'm not a John. I'm not going to sit here and shit on people or whatever. Let's just say that, uh, you know, doing a show is kind of a two-way street. Mm-hmm. Both the artist and the venue are to promote said appearances and uh that wasn't done and and so the communication wasn't there and so finally i just gave up and i just said you know what it's it's not worth it and i imagine they were supposed to reach out and tell people that had tickets and they could have done that in a day for sure Mm -hmm. hit all of you but i'd never played that club i'd never been out that way i didn't know any comics who had played it i didn't know anything about it they reached out we agreed, and it didn't work out. So maybe I'll be back there. Maybe I'll end up doing a different spot in that area. But, yeah, that's what happened. With that. uh, <laughs> Oasis still waiting for ambulance. Dave Down. They're, <laughs> They're, They're coming back. They're coming back. What was the club somebody said? Somebody was talking about a theater. Somebody was talking about a theater, probably. Somebody who can sell a fucking theater. It's like the fact that Shuli was going to go to fucking North Carolina, I mean, to uh, Oregon. He's going to go to Oregon to do two nights, and they sold nine tickets. But somehow, again, it's not his fault. He's not going to do it, John, and, and and blame everybody else. But then he blames the club. Adam played again, uh, just to make sure I'm right. Didn't he blame uh, the club after we he said had, he's like, oh, violence against women's uh, and, <laughs> and Vince. We had nothing to do with Shuli Salem cancellation. Shuli, please explain what happened to the four of us that had tickets. <laughs> I'll take answers on li- offline. There's actually nine of you that had tickets. But I've been, uh, like, look, I'm not one to, I'm not a John. I'm not going to sit here and shit on people or whatever. Let's just say that, uh, you know, doing a show is kind of a two-way street. Mm-hmm. Both the artist and the venue are to promote said appearances and uh that wasn't done and and so the communication wasn't there and so finally i just gave up and i just said you know what it's it's not worth it and i imagine they were supposed to reach out and tell people that had tickets and they could have done that in a day for sure Mm -hmm. hit all of you but i'd never played that club i'd never been out that way i didn't know any comics who had played it i didn't know anything about it they reached out we agreed, and it didn't work out. So maybe I'll be back there. Maybe I'll end up doing a different spot in that area. But, yeah, that's what happened. With that. uh, <laughs> Oasis still waiting for ambulance. Dave Down. They're, <laughs> They're coming back. They're coming back. Uh, hey, what was the club somebody said? Somebody was talking about a theater. Well, I love how Bob starts talking about a theater right after they talk about only selling nine tickets to a yeah it's always club. it's Riddle. always uh, Chili's come? not going to throw anybody under the bus but you know the the venue it's the of course it's the venue's fault because uh it's it's always the venue's fault it's never their fault it's like anybody could sell tickets uh, louis ck would would go to he would do he would do two shows on a monday in winnipeg <laughs> and they were both sold out i was literally there Two two shows Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday in Winnipeg in October. The club didn't even fucking probably mention he was on, on the show because he didn't want he didn't want press. He want he went all through his email. He didn't want press. He didn't want the press there knowing about whatever. So so this whole thing, it's a two way street. You're a fucking loser. You got to keep playing these clips. Uh, these are incredible. The next one, just play it. Uh, it it's. Wow, I can't even. I literally can't even. I, I'm beside myself, but I'm not. I'm right here, but I'm still beside myself. <laughs> All right, so this is the first part of uh, this this next clip. Yeah, there. Hey. This is just too too much fun. What's hey. happening, man? So hey, you really went to? You were really at the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been here over a week. 
What Danny Brophy was about to hire. What? what huh? Danny Brophy? What? What happened? Uh, now, yeah. So how? Well, what happened? How did you get to the? How did you get to the hospital? Uh, I started having My chest wife pains. Drove me. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I started having chest pains real bad, and I just was real dizzy and lightheaded, and I fainted. And then she called the ambulance, and then there's a bunch of things. Where I, I'm 55 pounds overweight. I gained another like 20 pounds. I just can't stop gaining weight, man. It's just going. It's pressing on my heart all this weight, and uh, mm -hmm. it's just not good, man. So I can't. I don't know why I keep gaining weight. I'm 20 pounds heavier than I was three months ago, and I thought I lost weight. So I'm going out in the limb. It's probably something you're eating. Well, well also I mean, I put down, down on down a lot of sugar. Look, no, but, down, you know, uh, we just drink water and fucking uh, and just fucking eat two meals a day. Eat them <laughs> I love Dr. Bob. In the afternoon and a light <laughs> dinner and that's it. Dr. Lee. Yeah, I got to start doing something because it ain't going to be good. I'll be checking out soon if I don't start changing my ways. Go for a uh, walk. Now, let, first of all, get a long all, dog. Laughter is a great source of medicine. So when a guy yeah. like I says, his charge, what about that charge? That's not that's yeah. not bad. That, Jesus I won't fucking Christ. Yeah. Like Bob says, walk, walking around, walking around is good. You know, you gotta walk more. You gotta you gotta get out of that chair, sitting in front yeah. of that computer, and walking around more. You're right. Oh, yeah. But I just want to go yeah. on the record to everybody. This was no work, and Truly Network had nothing to do with this. And, I, and I, my you. wife said there's been a lot of a lot of bad yeah. stuff pointed at the Truly Network, and I, I want to make it very clear. Surely Network had nothing to do with anything of anything. So I just wanted to publicly make that announcement on your show. So, so nothing, we had nothing to do with the chest pain. No, I'm saying everybody thought it was a surely work and all that. I mean, my wife gave me 10,000 pieces of paper when I woke up the other day. I did, I did have one good thing. I guess I'm monetized now, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Papers. All right, that's I mean, you can't make this shit up. First of all, first of all, they they they're they're suggesting he go for a walk. They drink, none of them leave their fucking chair. I said drink water too. Right? Yeah, it's the same solution if you want to off yourself. Adam, take them off the screen for for now. I I can't go for a walk. I can't look at them. No, they said go for a walk. In the first, in the previous clip, Bob's smoking, lighting a cigarette. They said, "Go for a walk." Bob uh, never does anything. They said, "Go for a walk." Uh, Shirley said, "Laughter." I mean, these guys are fucking idiots. So the gift of laughter. Also, go for a walk, get some exercise. When these clowns don't even leave, leave their fucking chair, the only place Bob walks is to the fucking car to to go to the store to get cigarettes. I mean, it, this is unbelievable. And but but it's not a work. Well, wow, that's a that's a relief uh, because I was I, I I had spent many sleepless nights uh, trying to reach out to Ray DeVito. Is it a work? I don't know. But in a previous clip, Bob's lighting a cigarette as Shuley's saying it's the club's fault because I can't sell any tickets. <laughs> yep, just like in Tampa, just like in Pottstown, just like in Poughkeepsie, just like Tiffs, and just like uh, Emails, Pennsylvania. Okay, let's play the next one, Adam. I mean, it's uh, we had, the hits oh, keep on coming here. What we got now? I mean, scandal time. I mean, we had a big meeting yesterday. We were going to sell the network and divvy up the uh, profits of the sale. <laughs> I, I was going to go into my fallout shelter, my bunker, my bankruptcy bunker, and hide there for the rest of my years. But, uh, yeah, I mean. Look at Bob smoking. It's, hey, Joe, we see. It, go, it was go accurate. for a walk. Like, that, catch a, catch a time, smoke. What was it, 14 years ago, 15 years ago? Uh, things were not going well <laughs> across the board. Financially, uh, we just had our first kid. I fucking lived so far away from work i had to get up at three in the morning to take a bus and two trains to go into fucking work uh yeah and a, a couple bad business decisions with uh maybe maybe one of them with a certain promoter who uh <laughs> was out on the west coast maybe mm -hmm. maybe that had something to do with it <laughs> uh, yeah. i can tell you that yeah shit oh. happens listen 
Yeah, that's why I laugh when I hear you cry about three hundred dollars. I'm like, oh, if Mike only knew, <laughs> Mike only knew what I lost. But yeah, shit happens. What are you gonna do? Like, uh, you know, it, it was between that happening financially. Then we just had our first kid, and uh, my wife was going through postpartum depression. So we were just fighting every day. It was just chaos and just fucking bad news after bad news. I remember on the train one morning going in on uh, what the, the right before you go into uh, from Astoria, the up top uh, where the seven train is, Queensboro, mm-hmm. right? Yep. Mm-hmm. I remember standing there <laughs> just looking down and going, I'm gonna all, it, it, all I got to do is just take a step forward and, and all of this is over. Really? It was oh, that it bad, was, huh? It was bad. Oh. It was bad. Because wow. when you get into situations like that, you don't see, you don't see a ton, a light at you the end of that it. tunnel. No, you never mm-hmm. do. Right. You never We're do. Train. Yeah. Listen, mm-hmm. it's just like there's, it's hopeless, it's hopeless, at that point. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the crystals didn't help with postpartum. No, no, actually, it didn't. <laughs> the medication didn't help with postpartum either. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. medication Maybe laughter. Only, yeah, it only made it. It only yeah, made go it go for a walk, drink some water. Uh, sure. Women can get crazy. Uh, Step in front of a does, train. It's really bad. Yeah, also, the seven that. train does but not go over. It, it's the like crazy. Bridge. Bridge. Believe me, I was under the since, East River, but that's whatever probably. since the accident. I just got as soon as I got back, neither to really get there. out again. COVID hit, and right. it was like fucking unbelievable. Yep. So you yeah, know, it's things change, yep. but then things come around again. Yeah, the 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 money I was making was not great at that time. Um the commute, every, everything about it. And then just me being a fucking idiot with stuff. Not, not to mention that time, the killers tour, Bob was gone from the show. The killers tour was done. Mm-hmm. Uh, I hadn't done stand up. Uh, I haven't done back then. I don't know how many months it was that I didn't do any stand up at all before doing the block party with those guys. And, uh, and as bad as it was, and as shitty as it was, uh, you know, I would go through that a hundred times over again. I would do it again and again and again because for me, what it did was it brought me and my wife closer. It brought us closer as a family. And the fact that I that the easiest thing to do would have been to give up. This was such a fucking mountain that I never thought I would get out of it. Right. And uh, and with everything she was dealing with, she was the one that was like, we got this. We'll do this, you know. And so I just followed her lead, man. And 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 together we we there fucking put our head down and dealt with what we had to deal with. So, yeah, I mean, if that if that is equivalent to. You know, everything we know, because I know the whole point of bringing this up is to be like, you're just like John. Blah, 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 blah. I mean, everybody, nobody's perfect at this fucking life thing, including the people hiding and reporting about all this shit. What do you think they're hiding from? What do you think, what information is attached sure, to hold these it, people? Freeze it, Adam. Freeze it. That's why they're hiding. Freeze it. Freeze it. Freeze it. What are they hiding? They just revealed that you, you filed for bank. So they're hiding something? Why are they hiding something? I think he's talking about the classic smelt it, dealt it. No, it's like uh, they they zero. they're they they're doing much worse than I am. They're not. Most people don't file for bankruptcy, especially when they're working on the Howard Stern show. And then he's talking about this fucking commute. Uh he had he had from Astoria? Yeah, I don't know where he was living that. No, he's he talking this about the, he's talking about where, where the seven train hits the end train and he, so he's taking the end train. He's got to take two buses to the train. So where the fuck is he coming from? That he's talking about this fucking commute, like he's talking from Pennsylvania or some shit. <laughs> That's what I thought he was from coming from the Pokemon. He's coming yeah, from Astoria or maybe somewhere in Astoria. He said Astoria, but he's talking about this fucking commute. Also, he said, me and my wife stuck it out. You know why they stuck it out? Because getting divorced is even more expensive and it's going to make your fucking finances even worse. So this whole thing, like, we stuck together because me and my wife was like, no, his wife was probably like had enough sense. It's like. We don't have any money. We don't have enough money to get divorced. We don't have money for fucking two, uh, two, two rents. 
uh, and and all the all the extra costs you get when you get divorced. So this guy's a Ooh. fucking this guy's a lying piece of shit. But the fact that he's so like, how about the how about these people that 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 put this online? That what what do you think they're hiding? Probably nothing. Probably nothing. You fucking clown. And like I said, I thought Jews were good with money. What happened? He's working at Howard Stern. He may he is, he has to file for bankruptcy. Now he's doing better. Look at these fucking four clowns. You got to dive everything by seven, and now he's doing better. He it's like the opposite of Beverly Hillbillies. You know they fucking and they went to Beverly Hills with all their money. They hit gold. He had a, He's like we got to get out of Astoria and go to Alabama, like the reverse of Beverly Hillbillies. Black gold. All right, go ahead. Fighting, but. I'm out here. We're all out here. We we talk about our shit. Um, it's something that none of these guys could do or would ever do. They're terrified Who? of it. Who? And and their goal was to embarrass me. I'm proud that I learned that lesson. I'm proud that I went right. through that shit. Right. That's why you brought it up on your own. Today, right? Yeah. If it wasn't for that shit. <laughs> so you want to get ahead of it. Yeah, I guess in a way, I'm taking responsibility for myself. Yeah. You have to. You have to at some point go, yeah, that was my fuck up. I'm an idiot. You also have to understand that was the most money I was making a, a, for a job in my life at that point. Then why'd you file for Every bankruptcy? The job I had was before that was part time so I could do stand up. So for me, that, that kind of money at that time, I was a fucking idiot. Uh, and, and, and all, you know, 90% of it was before I met my wife. So I just set this fucking shit plate and brought it right to the table for us to eat, you know? And she could have she could have walked out at any point. I wouldn't have fucking blamed her. But she didn't. Me she, didn't. she she believed uh in me. I believed she in us. It. She did it. And here we are today, man. So, you know, that's that's the story. Um I know a lot of people have gone through that and uh you know, if you're in a financial rut right now, it's all good, man. Listen, it, there are options. There are ways to get out of it. Yeah, you know, get in a car don't accident. Don't feel, oh, thank God. I was just <laughs> waiting. Let's have Wow. So he, now he's saying, hey, if you're in a financial rut, uh, what you should do is start your own shitty network. There, there's ways out. He's literally talking to Bob's been divorced three times. Then how's there, I think, once. Mike Morris wants, it's like, these guys are all fucking losers. And he's like, he goes, Hey, yeah, they sit there, sit there. Like they're, they got all the answers. Hey, you, if you guys are in a rut, uh, maybe you want to send us some super chats. Hey, you ever think about that? If you're sitting out there in your financial rut, uh, kick up a 10 bucks to us and we can just split it and we can split it seven ways. And, uh, I, I mean, it's like, it's like, and then what Pat thinks to point out, yeah, it's like, I'm proud. I'm proud to be talking about this once, uh, you know, somebody fucking uh, uh, dropped a dime on me and put it out on Twitter. And uh, I couldn't be prouder of, of, what, of, of what this uh, says about me, that me and my wife stuck it out because we had no choice because we, we had no money to fucking get divorced. Divorce is pretty expensive, especially if you have kids. You got to you got to get two houses. You got to get two of everything. But this fucking clown with all his answers and Bob sitting there like, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Well, you got it. You got it. My favorite part of that was when Shuli brings up. He was like, "Yeah," and then no longer on the show anymore. Talking about Stern, just like just glossed over the fact that he threatened to murder Howard Stern and then made terrorist threats of Bob. Huh. That's why he yeah, got thrown off the yeah, show. I don't you know care I mean? about that. Bob was never on the show. Bob was never on the show. He's talking about the tour. He's talking about when they used to tour. Like Bob, Bob was, you know what? Again, why wasn't Shuli doing stand up? Why, why Shuli's on? Shuli's such a great stand up. He lived in New York City where there's like at least 15 clubs. And he's like, I wasn't even doing stand up. He's, he's acting like he's Joey C and he's in the hospital. And he's like, I couldn't even, I couldn't even do. And then Bob's like, yeah, yeah, you just got to wait to get hit by a car. You just gotta hope you're 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 stuck at a red light and there's an icy road. Someone slams into you, and then you can buy your uh, wife some fake tits and a pool. Dream big. You gotta manage your money. You come into some money, <laughs> get a pool. Right. Spend oh. it on a pool. Sad. 
Get a dog. That's how you save money and beat a heart attack, apparently. Uh, Jason Bentley, we're back on a shit network and no Chad. All is right with the world. And on top of that, Pat Hero Dixon is joining us from The Price is Right. Yeah. One dollar <laughs> background. <laughs> of, uh, showcase showdown. First of all, first of all, I, I mean, am I, am I losing my mind? It's like these guys try to spin everything like it's everything's a fucking win. Everything's a fucking win for these motherfuckers. Like no matter what, it's like I couldn't be more proud. Uh -huh. I couldn't yeah. be more proud. I'm glad this came up. This gave me a chance to address a lot of important right. things that happened right. in my life. The misery of uh, after my wife had a baby and I, how I pondered ending it all. Right. On a subway <laughs> platform in Queens. And so you had a transfer. Big fucking deal, you know? A lot of people yeah, have that transfer and that transfer couldn't be easier. You just go from right. one side to the other side. It's like, you don't have to do any steps. Yep. That seven train to the end train. I just it couldn't I just be there. easier. Yeah, especially in the morning, man, they're running constantly. There's no way seven train. There's like, it's every two minutes. So if you're transferring from one to the other, it's like literally you just walk seven feet. And he was thinking about, you know what? I'm about to end it. I work on Howard Stern. Why didn't he ask Howard Stern for some fucking money? I thought those Jews worked together. With the tunnels and everything? Didn't we sit in the, the, with the tunnels in Brooklyn? They were financing the tunnels at the time. So yeah, they, they got Mexicans. Money to go around and they got Mexicans yeah. to build them. Mm, but so. Yeah, it's a, that, that's a, that, what a story, you know? What a story. Seems like a lot of shit that was just getting on his nerves led to his bankruptcy. You know, my wife, my kid, my commute. You know. <laughs> it wasn't him. It wasn't him. <laughs> right. He's like the Willie Loman of podcasting. <laughs> Made a bunch of mistakes. I served up a big shit meal. My wife sat there and ate it. Mm. <laughs> Thank God her standards were so low. Well, I that knocked fucking, her up. She didn't have a choice. The fucking commute from the Storia. I mean, that's like that's like seven stops on the end train. I don't. Where's Howard Stern? Well, 57th Astoria, there's, and there's, 57 and seven. But there's no there's seven town. involved in in the. I mean, you would. You no, would but he's saying where where the, the where Detroit before Rockefeller you go Center. underneath. No, sure before you go right. underneath the river on the end train, he right. thought about coming out. No, that is, no, you guys are all wrong. The seven. No, train, you're wrong, Steve. I, I lived there about? for a million years. He's not no. talking. He's talking about coming he's from a story the on the end train. The MQR dub. No, he said the seven train. The seven train yeah. goes under. No, the he East mentioned river. where the he seven hits the, the end. Train. He said, well, I was taking the seven train. He's over. Now, he no, said he's this where, they, the, he's where you transfer. Where, from where, I'm telling you, he said the seven train. He said where it hits the seven train. He wasn't talking about. Uh, Queensboro Plaza. The NQR. I know. I know that Bridge. that goes, but it, he's he's not. He's talking about uh, just being on the platform. He's not saying that the train went uh, above. The story. I looked in a story three or four different times. I know that stop like the back of my hand. I know where every where, where there's seven strip clubs. I can tell you. I I should give fucking tours of that Scandal, area. Scandals I don't is close. Scandal. Yeah, I used to go to all the strip clubs there. I would I would come up uh, from underground uh, on the uh, and I'd be like, you know, I'm jumping off right here. I'm gonna go say hi to the ladies today. <laughs> and they were they appreciated. I would give them super chats. They would give me lap dances, and it all worked out. And but yeah, the fact that he's like up. he 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 makes up his he 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 twists it like he, the commute. My wife was uh my wife was a uh, uh, postpartum. You know, all, all kinds of shit going on. I was working on Howard Stern. I I, I couldn't do stand up. Why couldn't you do stand up? They you, you work you worked and you worked you don't worry anymore work at night. It's like you worked in the morning, go home, take a nap like uh like uh, Carl would do, and then go out and do stand up. It's like fucking Norton does it every every night. That was, he was always was, at the clubs. It was probably the, the commute. It was tough to get Could to the be, show. Yeah. You know, so. a lot of buses. Right, Henniker. Ah. Yeah, that guy's an idiot. That fucking uh, stuttering John's an idiot. He tweeted something today. Adam, you see he's coming at you on Twitter? He's out. It happens every... I do like that uh, Thin Skinnaker, though. That's my new nickname. Yeah, that was clever. Which, thin Skinnaker. I, I like it because I was a fan of uh, in, Ep Al in Epstein, so it's got an in Epstein vibe to it. Right. Man. He's the king of nicknames. We yeah. will give him that. Yeah, I like it. Nick uh, Panhandler, $50. Another one who said he would agree with vaping. Make up with Patrick. There's nothing to make up for. I already got my T-shirts. Uh, he doesn't come on the show. Uh, Chad's available. Zucchini's working for us over here. 
it so it's like this make, make make it right with Melton. To what end? He's talking shit about my wife. He's talking about my money. He's talking about how I how I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Uh, Ghost Crusade. And even after yesterday, when we absolutely killed it, thanks to all the generous people, he's still he's still doing the shilly like it's a win. It's a win. It, you know him and his fucking back and forth with his loser fucking fans. Oh, it's so disgusting. Ghost Crusader, movie star, fingernails, furious, beloved chatter, Gustav, who actually is going to get a free room for Kate uh, Meany in Atlantic City because he don't even he don't trust any of these clowns. Stuttering John, stuttering clowns, every all these clowns who are going to take care of Kate Meany. Uh, Ray DeVito, he's who guaranteed one bed. Uh, the shit network is so hacky. The boys are starting to look like <laughs> look like each other. They're starting to look like an old married couple. Yeah, they're actually Julie, starting to look like each other. They kind of are. Julie was bending into Zenhauser look, you know, there with the with the hat and shit and the beard, yeah, bearded and with beanies, which is better than the fucking bucket hat he was sporting. I saw the other day. Like fucking that 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 makes him look like a total fucking asshole with the flat what? brim. Yeah, a bucket hat, you know, just straight down, you know, like that is an asshole hat. <laughs> an ass hat. <laughs> So Shilly doesn't need whack packers to sell tickets. Uh, I mean, it's it, they're insane. And and then the fact that he's talking about hey, Sh- Shilly's like the thing. Like I used to be broke, I still am, but I used to be too. It's like it's like he's just talking about how he filed for bankruptcy because that was so long ago, ten years ago. But now he's still broke. He still can't sell any fucking tickets. He had a, he had, he was gonna go to Salem, Oregon to do Friday and a Saturday, and then he sold nine tickets, and he's like, I ain't going. Yeah, it was never going to happen, motherfucker. You you did a show uh, like a Thursday at, at, at uh, Tampa Side Splitters. You didn't sell tickets there either. So now you're going to crisscross the country and not sell tickets? It don't make the math don't add up. Nah, I mean, like, yeah, when I think about going to do comedy, a fun, where there's a cool scene, you know, and a, and, and where comedy is kind of a hot spot, Salem, Oregon. <laughs> Yeah, that's where you can really cash in, you know. I gotta make those witches laugh. The fuck is, Let's go do a one nighter. Salem, Oregon. Been working on my Salem material. Now I'm not gonna get to use it. Right. <laughs> Salem, uh, Bentley. Thank you again, sir. I'm using a. Uh, I'm using a uh, Pat Dixon as my uh, ace in a hole. I love him. I love how Bentley hate uh, loves uh, Kumia but hates Gino. He's the per. He might be the perfect man. Right. He's, he's, and he's shout, out to, yeah, shout out to, shout out to, shout out to Kumia, whose uh, book is, uh, I guess he's going on a book tour. He's back in the, back in the USSR. He's back in New York City to, I guess, promote his book. Making the rounds. On with Gavin right now, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always like when people cross uh, promote other shows while we're doing a show. Never, but Stevie, don't say what else is on uh, when we're on. <laughs> Chad did that yesterday. He goes, yeah, uh, so and so's on. Fuck, like, if I'm doing Chad stuff, then I apologize. <laughs> yeah, no, you gotta, you gotta take a long a look in the mirror. What else is on? Yeah, let's go. Yeah. What else is what else is going up against us right now? What's That's got good. what's got you? The what's re- got you re- watching? Get smart. Every time wow. I'm a lot of times I'm streaming, somebody comes in the chat and I oh Ray's on. Like, <laughs> that is a dick move. I apologize. Go get his book though. All right. That's that's we could say that. LL Cooley, five dollars. Stevie Lou, are you gonna tell KB the truth about Melton's Discord today? What's got you what's got Lou Lion today? What oh, happened? I was what's I was thro- I was thrown out of the Melton Discord. Oh wow. Apparently. I caused some problems and uh their moderator, Ian Hawk, he got all fucking emotional and he threw me out what's got you disrupted so you know was mel there he wasn't he doesn't really go on there as much okay no he he is he is you know he i I think he he's on plenty for a grown man like i said yeah i got thrown out of there and now you know it looks like they got fucking clowns in charge so what are you gonna do what do you expect? Who who's gonna be in charge of a man's discord? Right. Like what kind of a fucking man? That what kind of a man takes that as a job? Right. I used to be a moderator for fucking steel toe in the That's morning. The thing is I'm I get all this shit for being a moderator uh at Steel Toe Entertainment. Um which he Wait, sent cur- me a t- are you he fucking sent me a ten ninety nine too. And I'm like, what the fuck? Did he really? Who did? 
Yeah, it's only did. fair, man. You're still um, using it. As I, I got one from Ski Mask. The I got Eagles. one from Steel Toe, and then I got one, obviously, from MLC too. Wow. So. Wait, wait, wait. Ski Mask is sending out ten ninety nine. My doing well. My fucking accountant is baffled. He's like, "What the fuck is going on here, man?" Um, ski how Mask. Much, how much did you make at the Ski Mask Collective? <sighs> I mean, you know, I've been hustling a lot this year, having to, uh, you know, make up a lot of ground with a lot of stuff that's been going on around here. So yeah, you your know, commute, your yeah, your baby. My commute's tough. That you know, <laughs> the, Queensboro Plaza. I look down Queensboro, all the way up nature. there. It is, it is a. You definitely die if you jump. You usually buy a churro up there too. <laughs> yeah, Supposedly, churro. Melton is in his Discord right now talking about uh, MLC. So, so this whole thing, he's not there. He's there. Uh, he's there. All kinds of. It, what times? What time is the ML. Discord? See? What time is the Discord open, Stevie? What time is it open every day? And what times it closed? Usually, I think it's twenty four seven sort of thing. Okay, then he's there. He's there multiple times. He's always checking in. And if you're there, he's probably not there because he right. can probably see it who's there. It could have been there. that. It could be and that. He's like, he doesn't want you snitching. Yeah. I have maybe He's I got you that data. to me that that he was there. I mean, it, these these people are fucking clowns. Shuli was like, you know, back then I had it. Uh, hey, I didn't. Hey, I had to cancel all my dates because I'm not selling tickets. But like, I had it rough back then when I was on the biggest radio show in the world and that commute on that fucking entry. You know, sometimes I couldn't even get a seat. Ugh. Standing, standing on a train. Real Thank you, hanger. Ella Cooley. Uh, road doggy dr bob prescribes two bumps and a used <laughs> green zipper coat in all seriousness rest and rest in piss <laughs> that did kind of remind me that bob giving the health advice <laughs> being like i i got my health under control so listen to how i did it is just like he was saying i got my drug use under control this is how you do it and meanwhile no, they don't see how stupid they look. Coke. They don't. They don't see how stupid they look. And and then Shuli's like telling everybody like, "Hey, you know, if you're if you're having tough times right now, you mean like everybody on the screen? <laughs> you mean like Mike Morris and Bob and Bob Levy and Zenhauser? Isn't Zenhauser divorced, Pat Dixon? Uh, yeah, he is. I mean, okay. I'm just, I, look. I'm a, I'm living in a glass house, man. I moved. From no, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not asking you to shit on them. I'm asking you: divorced. is he is he divorced? He is. he is. Okay, so he's divorced. Mike Morris is divorced. Uh, 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 Bob Levy's been divorced three times. They all. I think they all have children. And and, and he's sitting there giving like acting like they're all fucking winning. Like it just like they like they're the fucking Kansas City Chiefs, and they're they're on a fucking going down a float down Kansas City. As people are fucking freezing to death in people's backyards, it's fucking ridiculous. Exactly. It never ends with these clowns. Truly, should have uh, financial seminars. <laughs> yeah. Did you, did you see that guy's going to rehab? They said today. The guy who had the house. The guy who, yeah, that's that's a sign that you need to go to rehab. That you party so hard that three guys die in your. Also, that you fell asleep wow. for forty eight yeah. hours Sleep for two days. Yeah. How did he even know you? How does everyone know he slept for forty eight? Was he said some kind of alarm clock? Was there <laughs> were there video cameras in his house? Well, they said they were trying to get in touch with him because they were like, "Have you seen these guys?" Okay, I try to get in touch with Ray, and he's doing. Maybe the guy was doing a live stream. I try to get in touch with Ray. Yeah. Maybe he was at Planet Fitness. Well, fuck, I'm going on with Carlos Danger. How how long you try to get into somebody's house after a party when you're locked out? You know what I mean? Don't you just eventually go, fuck, I guess uh, party's over. Maybe get a ride or something. I yeah, mean, what the fuck? Like leave. Three minutes, no, three they all minutes. froze to death in a backyard. I think they're going to find that they were doing drugs and they've had tainted drugs. And tainted like, drugs. <laughs> oh, oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> 